Hey there everybody, uh, Cole and Sydney here. We just bought our brand new bus. It's beautiful and mint green on the outside. The person we bought it from actually already ripped all the seats out. So today is day one for us on construction of the bus and it's gonna start by like a deconstruction of what's still in here. We still have to gut everything else out. We need to take the floors out. We need to take the walls out and the ceiling out um, so that we can pull out all the old insulation, fix the rusty spots on the subfloor or well on the frame and then put a subfloor in and start from the ground up. So this is going to be a video about how to gut the inside of a bus. It's currently the week of Thanksgiving and uh, we just got back from our honeymoon actually. That's true. Woo! And we're doing a lot of preliminary gutting of the floor because our plan in December is to actually raise this roof up by, what, a foot and a half? A yeah. foot and a half. Roughly a foot and a half, because as you can see, yes. it has very little uh, head clearance. And so for some of what we're wanting to do, we wanted to have a little bit more headroom overall. Uh, so you'll see us begin the gutting out process and hopefully the next step that you guys will see from us over time is the actual raising of the roof. Yep, so this is the beginning of our journey. If you're interested in following our entire journey, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, if you're doing your own bus build and you're curious about things, please comment uh, and we'd love to talk to you. All right, let's get going. So uh, we thought that it would just roll up and we were definitely wrong. It's definitely, I, I've been told this many times, but uh, I guess I didn't believe it that it's, so it's all glued down, but the glue is still, I mean, it's been almost 20 years. The glue is still like actually holding the floor down. So some parts of it will come up and some parts of it are very difficult to get up. There's probably a better way to do this. There's probably a way to dissolve the glue with some chemical, but we're just kind of using crowbars and pushing Brute it up. Brute strength. Brute strength. So this is one way to do it. Uh, is it the best way to do it? Probably not. done so we finished the floor yesterday uh, so now I'm back in here to do some more work real quick things that I wish we had known if you are if you have your own bus and you're taking the floor out um, one if you have a heat gun heating up the floor before you pull the floor out will probably help loosen the glue up it'll probably be a lot easier for you if you do that 
Number two, if you have a pneumatic chisel, I don't know what they're called. I think they're called pneumatic chisels or like electric chisel or air compressor chisel or whatever. It's basically like a small jackhammer. If you had something like that, it would probably be a lot easier to get the floor up. Um, or if your bus is in better condition, I guess. I think our floor had just dry rotted over time. I've seen videos of people just pulling their floor up and they just use a crowbar and it rolls really well and that's great. I wish that that was how it worked for us, but it didn't. Um, ours was just tiny chunks and it was super brittle, so it was not easy to get up. But if you've got a bus and you're pulling the floor up, don't give up. You got it. Today is another demo day. Uh, I'm going to be taking the roof off, the interior roof and the interior walls and hopefully the insulation off and all that kind of stuff. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we are in the bus for an, another demo. Um, this morning, it's very cold by the way. Uh, this morning we're gonna try and take some of the rest of the walls off and the ceiling off and maybe some of the AC units and all that, but it might just be a lot of unscrewing things because there's roughly a thousand screws that we need to undo. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. What's been the biggest challenge so far today? Quite a few things. <laughs> uh, getting the AC units down has been really hard. Mm -hmm. um, we got this one off that was right here and there were two long bolts hanging out of the ceiling and Cole was down here and stood up and bam, hit that on the top of his head. I did hit my head really hard. Luckily I had a beanie on if I didn't. You handled it that. It would have been pretty bad. You handled that. It was <laughs> Great panache. It hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm finally taking the side panels on the inside off and the interior roof panels off. Um, it's been like a really long process getting to this point. The buses are designed in a way that if you want to take all those panels off, you have to take a lot on the exterior of the bus off as well. So we've been doing that. Uh, it's been a very slow process because a lot of the screws on the bus are stripped. Um, it's got a lot of problems that just make it a long, tedious process to take everything off. But we are finally here. And uh, in order to take the panels off of the side, I have to unscrew all of the side uh, screws and then knock the middle of the pop rivets out and then chisel the, the rivet heads off and then pull it off. Um, same goes for the ceiling. I have to unscrew all the screws and then I have to pop out the middle of the rivets and then uh, chisel the head of the rivet off and then I can pull the panel out. So it's a slow process, but we are almost done.
All right, so we are finally done taking all of the interior panels off of the roof. Ah, look at that. It looks so good. That was uh, much harder than I thought it would be, unfortunately. But we're done and uh, we're on to the next thing, which is raise the roof 18 inches. Cross your fingers.